Rabbi Achil Spiro, in his book, Touched by Their Tears, says over a beautiful story about a town of Riminov who had a rav by the name of Rabbi Mendel. And there were soldiers that came into the town on a very cold night, and they were looking to cause trouble. They said, we need a place for us to stay and for our horses. And they looked at the shul, they said, ah, that's a perfect place for us to put the horses. And the Hasidim came and they said, what should we do? And the Rebbe asked them, he said, is there any problems with the building? And they were assuming the Rebbe was asking, because listen, if there is, then we'll tell the soldiers all the problems with the building and hopefully they'll be turned away and they won't use it for their horses. And when they told them, they said, yeah, there's a leak in the roof. It's been like that for a while. The Rebbe immediately said, fix it right away. And they were surprised. And he said, let me explain. He said, at first I wondered why Hashem would send such a difficult gzeira on us. Why would Hashem allow for the holiest place in the town to turn into the lowest, the most degrading? To, to look, at, look at what it's turning into. Why would Hashem allow that? And then I stopped and I realized, it's not Hashem who created that. It's us who created it. We're the ones who allowed the shul to become decrepit. We're the ones who allowed the shul to end up having all of these holes and all of these leaks. It's us. We are the ones who turned it into a stable. And the people ran immediately to fix the roof. And then shortly after that, the soldiers ended up leaving town and not using it. You know, on that day, Rabbi Menachem Mendel and his Hasidim had a very clear understanding of what happened to their shul. They looked internally. They saw, you know what, maybe it's because of us that this ended up happening. Maybe we are the ones who were neglecting the shul. And that's why this is taking place. You know, it's an interesting thing when it comes to Tisha B'Av, we call it a moed. It says in Eicha that Tisha B'Av is called a moed. In fact, this has halachic ramifications that we don't say tachanon on Tisha B'Av, even because it's a moed, because it's a holiday. What? Tisha B'Av is a holiday? And Revolbi explains so beautifully. He says that there's two types of holidays. When it comes to the Shalash Regalim, those are holidays of Kiruv, holidays of closeness with the Kurdish Baruch Hu. And when it comes to Tisha B'Av, that is a holiday of Rechuk, a holiday of distance from a Kurdish Baruch Hu. Why would distance be called a holiday? And he says so incredibly. He says because during the times of the Churban, you know what happened to Kal Yisrael? They were in a third level. They were avad cheshben al nafsham. They completely lost track of what their purpose is and what they're supposed to be doing. People thought that they were doing mitzvahs and really they were doing terrible averos. They were living in a false and a fake world, not recognizing what their true purpose is here and what they're really supposed to be able to accomplish. And Revolbi says that is the lowest of levels when a person isn't even in tune to what their purpose is here. However, when Tisha B'Av came around, and unfortunately, HaKadosh Baruch Hu had to take away the Beis HaMikdash and cause the destruction that took place. That's when Klal Yisrael recognized so clearly, hey, whoa, there's Rechuk, there's distance going on. We're really, really far from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And it was on that day they stopped and they said, whoa, we're supposed to be coming close to Hashem. Our purpose in this world is to be fulfilling Torah and mitzvot and redeveloping a connection with Hashem. And now I feel myself as being so far away. But Revolbi says at least they understood that they were far away. Tisha B'Av is called a moed. It's called a holiday because we recognize that we do have a relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We recognize that we have a purpose in this world. We recognize and understand that we're supposed to be headed on a certain track of fulfilling Torah and mitzvot and coming close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And yes, while it may be difficult to focus on the richuk, to focus on the fact that we fell distant from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but at the same time, that means that we know where we're supposed to be headed. We know that we are supposed to develop that relationship with Hashem. And ultimately, we should see the day where Tisha B'Av becomes a moed of kiruv, of closeness to HaKadosh Baruch Hu.